What is going on, Lunatics? The Terra Luna Classic ecosystem continues to evolve, continues to improve. It continues to get more secured, uh, continues to recover. We continue to get closer and closer to a repeg of some sort, which will continue to burn tokens, give us an opportunity to reduce some of that supply. I know the supply is really heavy and get us into that range where we can start looking at one penny, one dime, one dollar. We can start looking at these parabolic sort of moves. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. We're going to look at some news. We're going to look at a, a new project here. Uh, we're going to look at a, a token that goes along with that project in support of it. And uh, these people are also part of, if you've li listened or watched my other uh, content, you'll see uh, Lunk Zombies, some of these other games. They're part of those development teams trying to work out this vast ecosystem and, and bring it back to life. And you know, to be fair, I think they've done a pretty good job. A lot of these guys have done a fantastic job, but it's about exposure and getting these people in front of eyes. And that's where I come in. We're talking about uh, different projects in the Lunk ecosystem. So sit back, strap in, and uh, let's talk about it. Uh, also, U.S. Uh, US TC, I, I, you know, I, I told you that I thought there would be some kind of move along with Luna Classic. I didn't expect it to be as robust as it was over this weekend. So uh, if you made that flip that I was talking about, then congratulations and shout out to you. So um, let's go with first up. First up, so we've got uh, the block size proposal officially passed. Uh, price went up 10%. And then, of course, USTC went up 20%. Now, broadly speaking, that was because of the, the overall market. That was not really because of this proposal, because the rest of the market was also moving. So, um, 12094 proposed to decrease max block size was uh, has surpassed the past threshold officially approved by the chair. And by the way, we do have a lot of things that are approved recently. The developer team, Genuine Lab, submitted a proposal to decrease from 5 megabytes to 2 megabytes as an initial security measure to counter peer-to-peer -peer spam. Of course, we've been under attack for a little while. This should help uh, create some sort of fix here. Among 56 validators who participated, 55, including all nodes, Interstellar, Interstake 1, Jesus is Lord Staley, and others that voted in favor of the proposal. Uh, as CoinGate earlier reported, validators believe it is likely the best option currently until Genuine finds a permanent solution. Notional Lab CEO Jacob Gadikian said that the community should also reduce block size uh, to between 850 kilobytes and one megabyte, and um, we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's move on just a little bit. There's a few proposals that are up here that you guys might be looking at, quicker decision-making in lunk governance. Uh, is it a problem? I don't know. Um, uh, then we have enhancing a voting power and supporting validators, and then we've got some nerd out here uh, doing Binance to delist lunk, uh, which no, but it was to get somebody's attention. Uh, double node and voting power. So uh, there, there are a few things that we're going to go over. And one of them, uh, as we get into station over here, uh, and, and again, if you're ever interested, then you should always go to Lunk Dash to find out how everybody votes. So the proposals are to decrease max block size, going to pass. Uh, then we have the 10x gas fees. Then we have the parameter change for a minimum commission of 2.5. Minimum commission 2.5, by the way. Uh, that looks like it is going to pass. It's reached the pass threshold. So um, this is going to be kind of an interesting thing right now for these zero fee validators now having to uh, be equal to everybody else. It's manipulative. Um, and, and it's it's nice when, it, you know, at first it's nice when you see it, but it's not going to be, uh, you know, we're going to need something. Um, uh, we're going to need some fairness in this market, and that, you know, is going to help provide that fairness. Now, um, minimum commission has passed. 10x gas fees have passed. Now, this creates a problem, by the way. I do want to stress that this 10x gas fee, uh, this is nice for the community. And remember, if you look at it uh, the way that it is right now, uh, you've 10x the gas fee, so it's going to cost three-tenths of one cent to... Uh, make a transfer. Uh, it's 10x more than what it is. It's 300, uh, three thousandths of a percent. So now it's going to be three hundredths of a penny, uh, or, or three tenths of a penny. Sorry, right now it's three hundredths of a penny. So um, and that's going to be for some of these builders. By the way, this is uh, a little bit more cost prohibitive, but probably necessary for the ecosystem uh, in order to replenish uh, and and really kind of create an uh, create. So the currently our gas fee on chain are extremely low. Uh, this has contributed to a situation where transaction spam attacks against our network are seen as feasible and economical to perform, which is part of what's been happening. So uh, increasing this by 10x will help to secure it. Reducing max block size will help to secure it. So we've taken all the appropriate steps to um, level up, if you will. 
So uh, now, what about price action? Well, um, you guys, I think we called it. Uh, I told you guys exactly where it was going. And sure enough, here we are. So uh, where do we go? We, we By the way, we're not exploding, but where do we go? Right into that golden pocket. I told you guys, the, between the 618 and the 786, that's probably the next level. That's going to give us some certainty. Now, we didn't come up to the 786. Now, I don't like when you see that because that's representative of um, you know some weakness. But the market, more broadly, is the one that's propelling this forward. So uh, it looks like, or it, it, it looks like the market is starting to have a, a nice little uh, recovery. So a nice little rip up into this range at 11.7, probably the next step, and then a breakout above that after a retest. So uh, that's the way that it looks. USTC, on the other hand, went to the top and actually got the 7.86 line, uh, which was a, a good move, a solid move. Uh, and But it came back down here. For that retest now the question is can it break out above and start to make that move i'm not confident or as confident in that as i am in ustc however uh we did have that spike we did have that nice little rip we did have that big move so um shout out to anybody who played it uh, and got it right also uh trading volume down to 27 million but it was up quite a bit over the weekend we started to see a little bit of excitement uh 644 million market cap 179 million market cap for uh, USTC, uh, continuing to hold its own. Uh, Lunk Dash, again, if you want to go check that out. Burn Tracker, you know, burn's coming down just a little bit, but you can't always, you know, we're not always gonna have a, a huge amount of burn until we get some sort of pairing uh, with a repeg uh, that starts to really, really burn these tokens and, and move them back and forth. But now let's talk new projects. So uh, one of the easiest things that you can do is create a platform in which people can trade and that's, an NFT platform. And guess what? That brings me to BigBangX.io. BigBangX.io is a project associated with several other projects. And what it is, is a Web3 marketplace. Uh, you can play, create, and trade. You have over here Contours. You have the Lunk Soldiers. You have Education S1, uh, King Crypto Kong. You have Air Force Lunk. Uh, by the way, some of these are games. These are going to be tied into games. Uh, Skeleton Cat, you've got Education SL, you got the Rastas, and you've got Lunk Soldiers over here. Uh, these are collections where you can mint. You can actually go into them, and you can start to um, uh, move around and check what they... Um, uh, you can go check. Of course, they're randomized, so... Uh, but you can go see, uh, you know, what these things look like. And, of course, you can hit refresh here and get it a little bit different. You can look at a whale cat, something like that. It gives you the cost of it uh, if you want to buy a specific one. Uh, but um, uh, certainly go check that out. Now, this is run by GRDX, which you can go look up on coinhaul.org. Uh, and you can trade it with Luna Classic 24 hours down a little bit in the last seven days, up 2%. So liquidity is about 40000 um fair value right now about a million dollar market cap so a uh, significant sort of market cap and uh if you want to if you're interested certainly go check that out now uh with that if you're looking to trade luna classic if you're looking to help this community one of the easiest ways that you can do that weeks it's down here uh it's just like binance it's burning tokens every single month so we want to get them up there so if you haven't there's a link in the description down below make sure you go sign up now if you're looking for long-term growth if you're looking for uh, a little risk assessment in what you're doing terra casino right here uh this thing is fantastic uh the, you know these are these are run by uh the people around terraport stuff like that and and look terraport uh, that's where you go if you want to do some trading. Don't, don't go to Station. Stations is complicated right now. Terraport.finance, that's going to be the place that you want to go in order to do any sort of trading. Uh, but if you want to do a little bit of risk, then that's going to be Terra Casino because not only uh, will they uh, help you out, they're going to burn tokens. Uh, they're going to burn tokens as you do your um, uh, as you do some of your risk gaming. And, you know, to be fair, that's exactly what this community kind of needs right now is significant amounts of burns. And if you like risk-based gaming, then there you go. Uh, also, this is what Terraport looks like, terraport.finance. So if you want to, you attach your wallet over here uh, and then you can just make trade. Now, if you notice here, I put a little bit, I got a million lunk in this wallet right now. Uh, a few other tokens here, but I have a million luck in this wallet. And if I want to, then I can do swaps and, and whatever it is that I need to do. They've got a, a pretty decent liquidity pool. If you have any questions about liquidity, you, you can just click on uh, the liquidity pools and check out to see if they've got something robust enough for you uh, for trading. And you can see all of the pairings over here. Everything is an open book at Terraport. So 
Guys, the bull run is almost here. The halving is almost here. The Hong Kong Ethereum ETF is almost here. You like ERC-20. We all like ERC-20. And the best way for you to accumulate more ERC-20 tokens or more Bitcoin, it's cryptonomy.finance. If you've been here before, you know that I've been talking about a lot of these tokens. There's over 400 that you can choose from. They offer an exchange with the, with the best rates uh, without commissions and support from a highly qualified support and trading team 24-7. And this is available to every participant. Of course, you get immediate support if you are a VIP. And you can deposit UST into your cryptonomy account. And then you can start to buy the desired assets that you want to use over here and exchange them as needed. Over 400 of them. And there's going to be a lot of updates coming out over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. So guys, if you are looking to advance your crypto portfolio, you need more tokens. Why not let the tokens that you currently have work for you? Go to cryptonomy.finance, sign up today, and let it grow. This community continues to manifest and build new things, and the things that have already been built are continuing to be a little bit more robust and fun uh, and user-friendly for you. So if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that, you go to, go to Commonwealth and, and ask your questions. Try to get clarity on what it is, or you can ask me in the comment section down below, but there's a lot going on in this ecosystem, and uh, sure would be cool if you joined in. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.